<laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to this podcast with the co-host Maxime Vachelagrave and uh, the man um, that makes a lot of noise lately on Twitter and everywhere, Vladimir Kramnik. Noisy I, man, yes. Yeah. Kramnik. I didn't <laughs> know how to present you because you are so Noisy great. man, it's fine, yeah. And, but I, I wanted to say that I think the, the, the biggest thing you achieve in chess, because it's hard to take one, but I think anybody can, can see that, is that you beat Gary Kasparov in a World Chess Championship match. You are the guy that took the crown uh, from Gary Kasparov, which is yes. some achievement. Uh, Very yeah, serious achievement. It's been a long time ago, but I think it's, yeah, it's been so such a long time ago that I'm not sure if it's true or not already, but uh, they say in Wikipedia that this was the case, yeah. So we are here to talk about uh, cheating. So here comes the first question. Uh, why did you start investigating cheating and what are your motivation? My motivation is that the, the cheating uh, will not be total, uh, which is uh, probably going to be the case otherwise in a matter of a quite recent future, in my opinion. And um, that is the motivation why I've started, because I've noticed it suddenly that there is a massive cheating. I mean, um, sorry. Okay, I'm going to be very straight. I'm, I'm always uh, we're talking about this subject. And in general, you know, I'm just, I uh, have such an education. I'm a Russian peasant uh, uh, born in Russian province. So, you know, don't expect much from me. I'm not French. I'm not, you know, uh, I don't know how to speak politely. So don't expect uh, anything else from me. But uh, uh, seriously, I just believe that the problem is so, so big. The problem is so important, so dangerous what is going on that, uh, in my opinion, there is no no more time for, as we say in Russia, for reverences, yeah, for for polite talks. Otherwise, in general, I'm I'm quite a moderate person in my speech. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to to be usually, I mean, kind of trying to defend people or trying to be peaceful. But uh, I think that situation and it's not not my intuition as some some structure is uh, telling or it's totally also it is intuition. I mean, but mainly just numbers, common sense, statistics shows that uh, in my opinion, situation is very, very different to what people think, to what some somebody presents us, and uh, and the risk is uh, actually no more, no less. Sorry if you find it pathetic, but uh, actually chess as a game is at stake, uh, in my opinion. So at at the at the bottom end, you do it for chess. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, okay, it just like again. I understand it might sound a bit old fashioned and um, not really like uh, I'm uh, not very modern way of thinking, but I just, uh, okay, I I just see when something is really deeply wrong, I, I feel like I cannot stay aside, even if it doesn't concern me directly, because it doesn't, I'm not playing professional chess anymore. And even when I suddenly, actually ac accidentally started to play online, uh well actually i don't care about the result or money or whatever i just try to enjoy it uh, so it's not really i'm the last one of whom this problem uh, will hit actually but uh, uh okay maybe that is why it's a bit easier for me to talk about it uh, because i'm not playing professionally anymore and uh, but yeah that's just my stand it's just too bad in my opinion sorry yeah to call me whatever you want uh, but it's just too bad and i'm totally sure about it because uh, again because of a lot of statistics i've done lots of researches and uh, mm, that i feel i okay i own a lot uh to chess you know chess gave me a lot actually i'm just a provincial boy Maybe I would be working in uh, some Russian factory for $200 a month otherwise, if not chess, yeah, who knows. And uh, I feel like I have to give back something. And when it's a game itself, the integrity of the game is in danger, I, I feel like, okay, you know, even uh, 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 paying a serious price of image okay people attacking me telling different nonsenses, but that's not so important. I mean, if I manage to 
help the situation. Okay, tell whatever you want about me. I will be happy already. Yeah, if if I may add some context here, I mean, uh, first of all, it's your intuition first that made you do this, but also the intuition of other players, including me, including Fabiano, is more or less the same, that the situation of online chess is alarming in the sense that we suspect that there is a high number of players, very high number of players uh, playing dishonestly uh, online. And so, yes, like we all feel like um, the integrity of online chess at the very least could be at stake and that basically online chess wouldn't be a viable way to play chess uh, in the future. So, so we agree on this uh, for sure. And yeah, like the whole idea is to, to find solutions uh, about this. Of course, uh, you did all this work on, on stats. We'll talk about that in a moment. Of course, okay, we talk about chess.com because they're, they're the leading website uh, in terms of online tournaments, especially online tournaments with price money. And they also obviously have stats. They have uh, a bigger algorithm that provides some results. We all believe it's uh, probably not enough at the moment, but uh, yeah, let's continue. Yeah, I mean, the, the big difference is actually, I can tell you my story. I was absolute. I mean, I was so shocked when I started to investigate it, when I started to do statistics, to check. And I have a team also, of course, I'm consulting with mathematicians when it's needed. I mean, when it's about calculating probabilities and so on, okay, it's not me who is doing it, even though I understand something in mathematics, but of course, I prefer professionals to do it. But uh, in any case, uh, I mean, when you start, and I, I believe everyone, you, Maxim, as well, just that, okay, you don't have time, you didn't go very deep into this matter, obviously, but once uh, you start really seriously digging, I mean, I was totally shocked about the statistics. I mean, I could not expect it to be so bad. I mean, I did not expect it's not, and it's not worse, it's not because losing, not losing. I mean, I don't really care. You saw my stream, I don't know how to deal with a mouse. I don't make pre moves. I mean, it's not that. It's just that uh, I started to feel something is a bit fishy sometimes. And then when I started to check statistics, I mean, my eyes were like, as we say, in Russian uh, on my front, yeah? I mean, uh, that I just couldn't believe how is it possible? And how is it possible that all those players, I mean, many of those players are still playing with statistics, which, you know, like to, to put it very mildly, well, uh, more than alarming, yeah. Uh, so that that is a problem that, I mean, I'm not basing my conclusions on emotions and I don't want, I mean, I don't want and I never thought of world of chess uh, like that, that there is a lot of cheating. I mean, but unfortunately, it's numbers which are, to my understanding, telling it very clearly. And I, I will present, if you if you uh, allow me, a few, at least even my actually latest research, for example, I, I, I have so many. Uh, and uh, I try to share it with uh, chess.com at some point. Uh, well, we were even in communication and they onward, they expressed uh, the gratitude and uh, they are willing to cooperate. But in reality, I never got any answers, anything serious. I mean, I was sending new and new statistics, which is obviously, I mean, again, it's very important to, to, to explain. Okay, it's not like it's a proof of cheating. There is no such thing as proof. It's not, yeah, even, you know, it, it's very, first of all, we need to agree on the definition, what would be a proof, yeah? That's, but that's maybe we will uh, touch it later in today in this conversation. But, okay, clearly alarming statistic. One, second, third, fourth, very alarming. And I was not receiving any answer or very rarely an answer that we checked and everything is okay. That was it. And then when I would ask why, why it's okay? Okay, I can sign a paper uh, on non-disclosure, but just explain me why. I, I mean, there is no reason otherwise to think that it's okay. There was never an answer. So, okay, then I started, I understood that, okay, there is uh, whatever is the reason, 
frankly, my opinion, I'm sorry, it's just my opinion, but uh, it's pretty much argumented that there is no big wish from chess.com to, to dig seriously in this matter because you can, um, I mean, the hole might, might appear to be so big and so uh, frightening that uh, probably as a, as a private company, it's uh, maybe, maybe it's my guess, they choose to to keep it quiet. But uh, okay, I'm as a chess player, as a person who likes chess, I mean, who wants to see fair chess, I'm not satisfied with it. I, 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 I mean, that's not satisfying for me. Yeah? And uh, that's why I decided at some point to do it on my own and to go public because I had no other choice. I mean, I, I was never receiving any argumented answer. Yeah, and that then the situation got a bit conflictual and uh, it's still now I was banned, whatever, muted, doesn't matter. I, but Your blog okay. was banned, not, not huh? sure. Yeah, muted, muted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, but I mean, in any case, it was not because I wanted to go public or I want to make it public, just that I had no, I, I felt I had no choice because I, uh, yeah, that's, you, that you is my you're, you're not position. Offended. Yes, uh, so if we come to the stats in themselves, like, uh, could you tell us a bit more about which starts you're using? I mean, obviously caps, but probably not only caps. And also, which uh, which factors you take into account when it comes to actually determine determining like if uh, if there is suspicion of foul play, like uh, certain results on certain games or certain important games, uh, and yeah. so on. D difference of play. Uh, between over the board and uh, yeah. and online, like could you just uh, all this elaborate? together? Because you did all of this, uh, yeah, all together, much more than so... much more than I did. So uh, I mean, all together, yeah, I was doing different type of tests. Uh, of course, yeah. Per first of all, is performance. I mean, uh, of course, performance of a player, which is well clear over performance. I mean, very high and stable. Yeah, of course, one doesn't mean that much, but of course, again, it depends. If a player is 2,000 and he performs 3,000, that's kind of in, a, let's say, one tournament. That's already a no, lot. No, like, let's say if I play 10 games, exactly uh, Stockfish moves, including some games of yeah. Stockfish, you know this. Uh, I, no, it was Alpha Zero. You remember when it was like uh, some of these Alpha Zero games against Stockfish uh, when yeah, they yeah. first appeared? They're completely insane. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. clearly. Yeah, even I mean, but I wouldn't a, be able to play like this. Yeah, yeah, so sometimes even this happens, but most of the time it's a kind of okay, repetitive performance. Yeah, repetitive, very high over performance, which can also mean different things. I mean, not necessarily is that you're cheating, maybe your opponents are or just having a rating which doesn't correspond at all to their level. So maybe they were cheating to get this rating. Okay, there are different scenarios. Uh, then, of course, the quality of play, very important, um, very important measure. So you I use fact, caps, you use I use different systems, caps yeah, and yeah. centipones, and actually also I was using also the chess-based system, which is a bit different. So Yes, I'm, the one that was used... Um... By, for the uh, nine case uh, yeah by Yosha Iglesias yeah. yeah yeah I was using different things sometimes I, I actually one thing which is but but that's the level of play is very important yeah because but I would say yes yeah, the more uh global stats you have the more convinced convincing it is like I, I mean the, yeah, because, on one factor so that's yeah because why it's important uh, that's to one of the very important things that you can never rely on one or just on one sole factor quality of play maybe just simply position were too simple performance maybe the guy's just great with the mouse and was flagging people yeah it's not enough i mean the, so you need a several of course another very important factor very important factor is is comparing your uh, over the board and online uh, both performance and level of play that is extremely important and uh, at least uh, i've I don't want to tell, and I, I'm just not very uh, correct, maybe to tell everything we discussed with chess.com. And but this I can tell that I had a feeling the Elm was not working on this, and that was extremely surprising for me. 
extremely surprised because that would be the first thing I would do because I started our conversations. Uh, what I started, of course, what is the first thing I would do as an anti-cheating system is collect the clean data, so to say, because let's say OTB tournaments in Blitz, very difficult to cheat. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, 99.9 probably percent clean data. That's very important. You need a certain benchmark of clean data. And let's say I told them, okay. Uh, yeah, well, this is I, the ba basics in stats. Yeah, you, if you want to control if something is irregular, you need to have a control group. So that's. Yeah, yeah, it's a control group because online, there is no, it's difficult to have a control group because theoretically everyone can cheat. Yeah. So you cannot never be completely sure, especially if it's about big numbers. Yeah. You cannot exclude, include 50 players, maybe 10 of them cheating. That changes totally everything. So you need. Uh, you need this and uh, then, okay, I was completely sure that they have done it already at least. And I told, okay, of course, I guess you, you collected all, uh, let's say, recent uh, world championships online, offline. And this is a data, to my estimation, it's about 15,000 games uh, of, of uh, uh, during the last 10 or 12 years. And that is already a very serious data, yeah? I mean, best players are playing, not only best players, different type of players. Playing. So then you have a certain, okay, of course, better, more, but unfortunately we don't have more because if you take a data from 30 years ago, not the same, chess is different. So uh, I, I would, I think it, it can also uh, make, uh, you know, a too big, uh, let's say, deviation for the correct results. Yeah. So a, a, a small question here. Do mm -hmm. you think people can possibly play better online because they play on a 2D screen and it's easier because they train a lot on computers compared to playing on real chat uh, yeah, Yes, yeah. No, of course there are certain deviations. I mean, it's not like it cannot be one-to-one, -one, but it, uh, there is, it cannot be, you know, a huge difference. And again, again, uh, let's say it's about performance, but also quality of play, actually level of play. I don't believe you can change dramatically your level of play because you watch on the screen or you watch on the board. I, I mean, I I don't believe it's possible. Maybe in a very rare case of one or two guys out of thousand, but in general, your level should be similar, not the same. Yeah, somebody is better like that. Some, I mean, so that's why when you are when you are comparing OTB and offline events, then exactly the level of play becomes very important because otherwise, okay, let's say you are bad with a mouse like me, or you are extremely good having very excellent skills with mouse that can change your performance significantly. So, so in this particular test, then already the level becomes the most important, uh, more important than the performance in other tests, actually performance becoming more important. So you have to play with it. Or, so there are, and there are more, there are more time spent per move, uh, actually a lot of different things. You can cut games into certain segments and see, let's say, uh, last when, when a person has 10 seconds, uh, left, what is his level of play there? Yeah. Uh, let's say what is his level of play in a position when when it becomes when it's complicated when it's not uh, clear let's say already let's say between zero zero and plus four yeah and there are so many parameters that I finally I mean okay I've done what I could I I also have limited time yeah I have other things to do as well but I did quite a lot and one thing I can tell you. That's why I I'm in quite strong disagreement with Chesscom and with all this kind of idea that it is so difficult, almost impossible to catch a cheater. I believe it's uh, I would say nine out of ten you can catch just by just like this with a certainty, you know, like beyond reasonable doubts. That's that's uh, that is my opinion. Yeah. If I may come back on uh, the over the board uh, tournament and whether Chesscom are using them, because I do agree that it's quite important, but I don't uh, know the least, answer. Yeah, I, yeah, don't, yeah. I don't know if Kevin has the answer to this. Uh, no, no, I have the I answer because have. I, sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, of course, I guess you collect these games and you comparing and they didn't say uh, no, but it was very clear to me that they, that they didn't do it. And that was okay, a shock. It, 
that it, was the first I mean, shot. It, I mean, it doesn't mean like they didn't say no, we we don't do it, so we can still ask. Yeah, but I mean the way like, the, the way I mean actually I asked I mean we were communicating and I and I asked them and I told them okay uh, I can send or uh, and actually they were like asking me where to collect it how to collect I mean I had a feeling they didn't do it I mean it was like shock to me I cannot tell hundred percent but it's it was very clear feeling that they uh, okay. actually never did it and that is like what i was like puzzled what how how come it would be the first thing i would do you know yeah but but not only that i think like but we'll come back to this later i think it would be one of the measures i would implement to check if yeah. a suspicious player is guilty or not like to to make him play under life yeah. situation yeah so yeah, for sure uh but we'll um so anyway let's uh, I mean, Kevin. So is... yeah, so yeah. I just uh, to finish it. Yeah, that then somehow I felt like there is one of two whether whether the system which is and I was trying to give a lot of ideas, a lot of hints what can be done, uh, what are the possible parameters. I felt we discussed a few parameters. I felt frank. I'm frank with you. I'm not trying to. Uh, you know, to be negative about Chesscom or so on, or people who are working anti-cheating, but I, I really believe that the, yeah, they're not uh, not on the level when it gets to purely chess points. Of course, they're probably good mathematicians, but I felt sometimes they were naming me some parameters which for a professional chess player, pretty obvious, it's, it's a wrong parameter. It just has nothing to do with reality. Uh, for example, I can give you one example. Uh, Maxim, just what do you think? Okay, at some point uh, uh, we were trying to investigate something, and then then they told, okay, let's share the game into three uh, parts: opening, middle game, and end game. So we make separate analysis of these three parts. So I told, okay, but what is your definition of of it? Opening, middle game, end game. So end game, they say, when queens are off the board, this goes to one part. Okay, sorry, you know, sometimes uh, everything else is on the board and end game is much more complicated than middle game. And sometimes with queens on the board, like queen and bishop and symmetrical structure, it's actually very simple, yeah? So it's not a relevant uh, parameter. So I told them you should not do it because it's, it will give a wrong job. But the most... Let's the most, say it's yeah. a relevant parameter, I would say maybe like... Off the top of my head, eighty to ninety percent of the time, but yeah, uh, but it's not percent. enough. It's not yeah, a, you yeah, cannot not really enough. judge. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah? I... Uh, but the most important was the opening. I mean, to me, it, it finally, uh, frankly, it felt like a huge misunderstanding of how it works in Blitz. Let's say, yeah, because the idea was that they actually made already some research on the how who plays better opening, and the idea was is uh, who I think that the opening for them meant. Uh, uh, all moves before the novelty was played, official novelty according to database. But this is nonsense. Yeah. I mean, what? How? How do I know when I play blitz if it's already played, not played? Yeah. I mean, I... No. Also, like, I would say it's not even always the case in classical chess. Like, yeah. But no, I mean, uh, in blitz you just in play. Blitz, it may be the case, but uh, like, no, but I mean, you just play some game, but, you play yeah. ready, you just play, and suddenly you played some move, and it's a novelty. I mean, some random move, uh, or, or maybe two guys played this move already. No, no, and he, I mean, it just course. doesn't make any. I told, okay, this parameter should be out, this simply doesn't make sense. But and I think they didn't believe me, they thought I'm, but I mean, and so there was there were a few issues on pure chess understanding or uh, about end games also i told that some end games are actually with with a minor pieces very few pieces are very difficult some are very simple so you cannot put it all in one bay in one you know uh, box so i mean with the details i think the and maybe that is the reason why it's so unprecise in my opinion that uh, parameters are not right yeah so they would need a real chess professional uh, real who would explain okay this parameter is correct this is not correct because otherwise whatever great mathematician you are but if you're making a research and you settle the wrong parameters you will anyway get the wrong result for sure. I mean even if you are fields medalist yeah uh, but I mean like 
uh, I mean, I've had talks uh, with Jessica, and they have uh, um, ample stats uh, on the subject. There are players that they suspect uh, very strongly of cheating, but basically oh, yeah, so don't yeah. want to don't want to ban uh, because they're mm -hmm. not basically hundred percent certain, and this is our next question basically so for you question. do you start yeah it, it is an extremely important uh, question so what are you start saying do do your staffs come to the conclusion that some players are 100 percent che cheaters or no i mean 100 percent never exists yeah you uh i mean but okay uh it's a very important issue i mean let's let's i mean we live in the realistic world yeah in a physical world not an imaginary world uh, where you can make a certain theorems or let's say behave according to the best possible scenario. Very often there is no best possible scenario. There is, there is a drawback in any scenario you take. But I believe because, okay, there is a, it's a common um, kind of uh, uh, argument which I've heard many times that, well, if you are not 100% sure, whatever it can mean, I don't know, then then you can damage a play, then you can damage a person by banning him or let's say it yes, necessarily uh, has to be banned yeah i'm actually part of those people i think yeah into. yeah yeah we're I'm part, strongly, we, are, we are part of those guys right? i'm strongly <laughs> strongly against it and i explain i will explain you my position why because okay let's go deeper so let's say you have a player, uh, so let, okay, just to give a number, 97% uh, you think that he is cheating, 3% he is not. So uh, then if you don't decide, so you let him play, you let, you let everybody like this play, what does it mean? It means more or less nine, you let nine out of 10 cheaters keep on playing. No, statistically. Yeah, but but I actually agree that it shouldn't be a status quo. I just think it shouldn't be a ban either. But uh... no, no. But I mean, you know, it's actually in a way, yeah. So 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 there are two sides of of this coin. One side that uh, I mean, it's a very philosophical question. I believe it's a big problem. Let's go now deeper. It's a big problem of modern civilization, even. Uh, is to to avoid responsibility of making decision and potentially making a mistake, because most very often there are situations in life uh, where not taking any decision is the worst possible decision. You know, you just cannot not take decision. So here, it's uh, it, it's all this Bible. Yes, yeah, this Pilatus washing hands. Yeah. Okay, I'm not hundred percent sure. I think he's cheating, but I'm not 100% sure, so I, I, I better don't do anything. But that means, so we are talking about, let's say, a moral question here, yeah? So there is, okay, you, with a probability of a mistake of, let's say, 3%, 5 call it whatever, yeah? Whatever we can discuss the number. You, you ban, uh, or, or you can do it very softly somehow. We will discuss it later how it can be done. Uh, a player who is by mistake, but most probably 95% that, that you will be right. Yeah, most probably you will be correct. So uh, just not to make a mistake. So on, so you are, uh, talk, you are uh, considering the feelings of one person uh, with probability of 5% or 3%. And if he is really a cheater, which is much more likely than not, then you uh, you are damaging tens of chess players whom he is going to cheat further. And you, you are actually, in a way, not taking decision. You are robbing them because he will, he will rob the money, you know. So actually, it's et ethically very difficult decision because, you know, we just look at only one side of a problem. Yeah, we, we take care about, uh, yeah, we can make mistake, etc. But if... If you make mistake but not banning, you damage much more people and chess as a game in general. So what is what is? I mean, I believe this is a situation where you have to take a chess call, not me, not you. Has to take responsibility. Has yeah. to. It cannot. It cannot 
say, okay, let's say there are 10 players. Uh, each of them, we are sure, I mean, 95% chance uh, they are cheating. So mathematically, it means, okay, 7, 8 of 10 are cheaters. But because we are not sure in each concrete case, we we will not do anything. I mean, this cannot okay. work. I'm uh, sorry, uh, this just cannot uh, work. I both agree and, and disagree. So, like, I will just yeah. uh, say what I have on my mind. So, first of all, I think... Uh, for a pure ban, 95 or 97 percent is not acceptable. I mean, for for of course for Chesscom, uh, it's even much higher than uh, I would be. Like it's probably as close to 100 percent as it can get, and they did get some ban. But what I agree on is that the situation cannot be the same. Uh, cannot remain the same for the players who are like 95 percent certain to be to be cheating. So first, let Let's think about what Chesscom is publicly doing um, for these players. So basically, when they're playing, when they're competing, they have to to show webcam. They have to show their son. So basically, the the same regulations. Most of that the time, not. Sorry, uh, yeah. Like in Title Two, you don't have to. But uh, no, they if you do, have results, uh, you have to now. They 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 updated the rules, but. You mean uh, like uh, if, the asked, if you're asked? Yeah, yeah if you're asked. If you're yeah, asked. that's what I mean. If but okay, asked. let's say that if there is a player they're suspicious of, they will ask. So, so they do the same uh, measures that they have on um, on this champion chess tour tournament, which uh, we was no, part in. no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. It's absolutely not the same measure. In the champions tour, you have to share a screen from round one. It's still not enough, but everybody has to share the screen. They check your computer. I, I, yeah, so yeah. yeah. I, I assume they. Let's assume they have to do this. Like I would yeah, say, yeah, it's not yeah. enough. If, yeah, yeah. I would say yeah. it's not enough. Yeah. That's so. Like let's say this would be enough in my mind if you are like fifty percent sure the player is cheating, and and then if you have eighty percent and then building up to ninety ninety five. So first of all. First measure I would uh, be thinking about is uh, like for Chesscom to tell the player if you want to keep competing in press events, you need a live presence uh, that we approve of, obviously, like uh, they call this proctors. Uh, of course, when it comes to title Tuesday, it would be at your expense, whatever, blah, blah. And uh, then the player decides if he wants to do it, but we need physical presence because, for instance, the measures they have in place uh, for no with no physical presence don't detect uh, earphones, yeah. don't detect uh, like anything uh, that would be in my shoes, for instance, and stuff like that. So this would be uh, one of the measures. The second measure that I actually uh, I'm uh, borrowing from poker is the idea that uh, Chesscom asks uh, the players I suspect to be cheating. Uh, I mean, tells them you have a choice. First choice is you stop competing in price events altogether, even with physical presence at your place. Or second option, you come to you know a place we approve of. It doesn't have to be. Uh, Chesscom headquarters, I mean, probably would be logical for Americans, but let's say for Asians, you, you'd you need like maybe some place uh, in Asia, some place in Europe. Anyway, chess players are also traveling, so maybe uh, on the way they would find one way to stop, like if they're motivated to, to prove mm -hmm. that they're playing fair. And so they would play in this secure environment that includes, of course, uh, Either laptop or, or personal computer that is uh, completely free of any, any not malware but any software that would help a player cheat, and like uh, so in a controlled environment, of course, with the player being checked for for devices before playing, and then if he can reproduce um, results in his games that are at least comparable to. The best results he was showing, and that induced that suspicion. Then, like, if the stats match and whatever, and the player proves that he can play um, as well in a secure, secure environment, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, 
then they reinstate him and allow him to play for twice again. That would be basically how I would proceed. But like having all these extra steps before it comes down to, to the to the definitive ban of a player. Well, I agree with you, I, Maxim. I agree with you, but uh, another option can be just at least that the person plays OTB event. But in general, ideally, I agree, and I believe it must be done, yeah? Uh, I mean, because you know what is happening nowadays. I will tell you some statistics later. I mean, it's just like um, very often... There are many players. I mean, again, doesn't mean that all of them are cheating or something. No, it's it's just like it's a fact. Yeah, that there are many players who are clearly overperforming according to the feeder rating, blitz feeder rating, classical feeder rating, who had never shown anything close to it in any more or less serious blitz tournament, let's say, offline in their lives. Because it's very big difference. I believe it's a very important difference. If you at least proved once, twice, yeah, that you can play on the very, very high level, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are totally already out of any suspicion. I mean, but at least this is something where, of course, yeah, the situation is very different. But somehow it's like it's a little bit uh, weird this situation when a lot of players they never whether don't play at all any serious like world championship bleeds and never play for some reason they are performing so great uh, online I mean they have a very good chance to fight for good money they don't play of course it's their right I mean you cannot force them to play but still it's a bit kind of strange but okay mm. it's their right. So, but uh, or some they play and actually don't show at all anything even close to what they show online. Uh, and uh, uh, I mean, yes, yeah, then it's a different situation because you have to prove at least once, but twice that you are capable of, of this, you know, um, in a secure environment. And I believe this is a complete must because otherwise we yeah. just have to believe this kind of uh, fairy tale or maybe it's reality I don't know but we just have to trust that all of a sudden a 2300 player can play 2700 level I mean yeah. but he never proved it yeah I mean I find it a bit kind of difficult to believe yeah, yeah. so I have an additional question for you so mm -hmm. because basically your position is to ban players like who are over 95 97% of no. suspicion no, I mean, but like, yeah. no, let, let me yeah, say. Yeah, sure. uh, so my question is, are you saying this uh, in the current state of things, meaning if the option is ban or no ban, nothing happens, basically? Or is your position revised if you add this option of, uh, you know, uh, temporary, I mean, not even ban, but like temporary Additional uh, ban measures. on yeah. playing uh price tournaments mm -hmm. until you do prove yourself over the board mm, i'm not for bans i mean i don't care if i mean i want that a person with a high probability of unfair play is not taking part in money events as long as he doesn't prove the opposite i mean uh, if it's banned if the, if chesscom decides to ban okay if decides just to 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 do the way you want i'm also fine with it i just don't want to see so many players with, and I will come back to it later, maybe today, with so many very low probability performances competing again and again and again. Then there is one, there are two small um, questions. First of all, what about 95, 97%? It's very difficult to measure, yeah? Uh, this is one, one thing. Yeah, yes, yes. Secondly, think it in this way. You have to take a decision. Let's say you are in a trial, you are in the jury yeah, of these 12 people. I mean, you cannot say, I don't know. No, you have to take a decision. So you have a, um, so what would be, there is yes, no, guilty, not guilty. And maybe there is a third decision where you say, not totally clear, probably you should investigate further the case. What would be your percentage? I mean, uh, because we are not talking about 97 against, uh, you know, against a lot of other possibilities. It's binary. It's whether yes or not. So on one side, you have 3%. On the other side, you have 97%. So let's say you are forced to, to decide how many times you will say yes. 
I mean, see, and it's a, it's a practical question. Yeah, yeah but it, it's it, it, it's absolutely impossible to uh, to answer yeah. without more Why? parameters. Yeah, no, but, but you uh, have to. I mean, you have to make if, a decision. If we have yeah? the, the possibility to have additional measures, then we would take additional measures if they don't harm sure. anyone. Also, sure. also, I wanted to to add that chess.com is here in a weird spot because they could be in a spot where they are very authoritarian because they have there are the, the main platform where chess is happening, and if mm -hmm. they started to ban people with like. I mean, without the hundred person, they they could be in a position where they could ban literally anybody without giving. No, but anything. there is no no. I I don't agree completely with it because there is a certain limit which, of course, you cannot ban the guy with eighty percent probably. Of course, but then yeah, look at it from the other side again. If you don't ban with ninety seven percent, then the whole system cannot work. I mean, I'm no, sorry, I mean, it just cannot. I, work. I agree. I agree with you, it, but not if you don't ban. If you don't take any serious yeah, action. Yeah, yeah, take action. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I mean by take action. But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I see that the action is not taken. The same because... players who already for a long time has this ninety plus probability of, I mean, low uh, probability of the result, they keep on playing and playing. There is no action. Mate, and that is what what kind of action? It's not my business, but there must be an action, yeah, in such yeah. case. And also, like I don't even know if we touch this point explicitly, but uh let's say if it was one player 97%, it mm -hmm. wouldn't be an issue. But once you yeah, have uh I don't know, I don't know the exact numbers, but like uh, I know. <laughs> yes, but like if you have already 10 players, it's Probably mm -hmm. more, but like where you are certain at even a ninety percent scale yeah. that they're cheater, that that they are cheating, like it's yeah. so then it's very probable that one of these persons is innocent, but it's almost impossible. Like we're talking one in a billion yeah. that all ten are innocent. Of course. So clearly, because again, we feel that there there are massive numbers of. Players watch cheaters. Like, uh, let's say if we're talking uh, players who compete for price in Title Tuesday, uh, so like that's a pool of 50 to 100 players, I would say, something like that. I would estimate to at least 20% the number of players uh, were suspect to have cheated at some point. And that's the minimum. But also, I don't have any individuals that I can point hundred uh, percent. That would be ah, just not come. I mean, again, hundred percent. But I prepare yeah, yeah. especially for this problem exactly statistics on this, and uh, yeah. But we need, you know, what is very important measure actually to use how we can prove our let's say intuition because there is a certain common sense. Let's say. I play with you tomorrow, let's say three matches yeah, because, again, every day, yeah. and I beat you 9 1 each match. Yeah, with a 96 every game. Uh, I mean, what is the probability? I mean, it's not 100 that I'm cheating, not 100%, but it's very close. Yeah, it's our common sense tells. Yeah, that it's, very, but then you can check it mathematically. Yeah, yeah no, it's a, it. it's a common sense of uh, a lot of the top players that there is a problem of online cheating. And like, if everybody more or less agrees on this, it means that something smells like it cannot be we're all paranoid. Clearly not. But, no, but so just, I don't think know, we're paranoid. I that's, mean, no, that's the main paranoid. thing. I mean, yeah. let's say there is a certain basic common sense. Let's tell you, okay, I tell to to all the listeners and to you a question: What is the probability of two thousand two hundred player? Let's say feeder rating, whatever, more or less, which is proven. He's proven to be this type of player. He plays a lot, and he's always around two thousand two hundred. What is the probability to show, let's say, a performance in eleven rounds, uh, two thousand seven hundred? Let's say beating three top ten players. I mean, what would be your what? How would you assess it, the probability? Um, I mean, I would say it's bound to happen naturally with uh, because you have like maybe uh, a thousand, two thousand players who play every week. I mean, no, maybe no. not every I mean, week. each, each, yeah. each, each, yeah, player. yeah, no, but like, so I would say for if you target one, like for one player to do this, yeah, uh, I mean, it's definitely less than one percent, 
the mm -hmm. question is if it's between to me it's between a hundredth of a percent and a tenth of a percent. Yeah, like one in I mean, one in thousand one, to one in ten thousand. Yeah, it's a kind so of common say, sense. Yeah. So if it happens once, yeah, let's say in um in a matter of fifty title Tuesday, yeah, something like that. Like I don't have the stats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I would be okay with it. I think. I mean, okay, that which happens means, not, which means still very low probability. Yeah, very low. No, but I mean, it that means it can happen naturally. That's what. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I mean, in can every happen, fifty. Again, can happen doesn't mean it will happen naturally. Yeah, it's still a low probability. But I I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, our common sense tells it's a very low probability. Yeah. Yes. But those things are happening all the time, absolutely all the time, and with many players each title Tuesday. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, I will tell you the statistics now. Only of one title Tuesday, I found 11 out of top 50, 11 such performances. I mean, I'm sorry. What is the probability of it? Yeah. So I will tell it, but for now, yeah, what I mean that then how can you measure, let's say, our common sense? But there is a statistics, I believe, okay, one of the, which I also advise Chesscom to do it, they never answered me, do they do or not? Okay, check how many times it ever happens offline. In general, let's say you have a group of players of this rating, take them all, take all Blitz tournaments and check how many times in all World Championship, all other Blitz when a player of 2200 performed 11, 11 games in a row, let's say, on the level of 2,700. And that is that will show you also pretty much, of course, not totally precisely, but pretty much it will show you the, the number, yeah? And I'm pretty sure it will correspond to, to the intuition that it's very unlikely, yeah? But frankly, when I started to check statistics, I start to see so many times this kind of probabilities repeatedly, you know, repeating all the time. And then, okay, then I asked Chesscom how it is possible. It's clear that even one is quite unlikely, but possible. But when they're like, the guy is showing five like this in, in 15 titled Tuesdays, I mean, come on, the, his probability is almost zero and he's still playing. And then no answer, yeah? So I'm sorry, yeah, that's uh, that's why I'm kind of puzzled. I mean, I, I sorry to tell it very openly, I lost my trust in Chesscom. I don't trust, I want an answer. I understand the probability is extremely low. I will present you some numbers. I, I I understand it's very low, and I just only think what I'm told that we checked everything is okay. I'm sorry, it's not enough for me. I, I'm facing this player maybe in the last round in the money event. I'm it's not enough for me. I want to be. I want to understand why it's okay that he's okay. I can. Uh, I don't know, now or a bit later, I can present you statistics, uh, for instance, just on one title Tuesday. I mean, yeah, let, let's do it now. I think we... we yeah, yeah, I will let's, present let's you. Okay. It, yes. I just checked top 50 players. I mean, one of the latest. I don't want to... T I don't want to call even names. I mean, it's not about names. I have... No, names, exactly. But, like, yeah. We, just... uh, because again, like, we... Let's say, uh, like, if your stats are very convincing, so like, out of these eleven players, it's basically impossible that all eleven of them are clean. I mean, to me, it's uh, like it's, like eight is minimum. I mean, I mean it's it, like, yeah. but you will judge for yourself. What I want, yeah, yeah. what yeah, I yeah. want, but you people... cannot say mm -hmm. for sure that. No, uh, you cannot pinpoint them and say this guy is a cheater. That's what I mean. I mean, uh, you Again, cannot. Uh, and some uh, cases you, you, you can you can but in you some can cases, pinpoint this guy and say we need additional security on this guy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean that the chance that a guy is is uh, using additional help is huge. All right. So no, then that's what I yeah. can say. That I of course I cannot say that he's cheated hundred percent. It's not anyway yeah. my legacy and not my responsibility to do. It. But that this result cannot after such two, three performances in, in a row, he cannot continue to play without uh, certain measures. I mean, that is to me clear. So I, I will go. It's just one title Tuesday. I just choose the player only I took out of 50 and I took only the most like shining cases. I, I didn't take, let's say some, which I also still were quite, quite, but I mean like, okay, let's go one by one. 
it will take a bit of time, but I will explain you the reasons. One player, he he made uh, eight and a half out of 11. Uh, of course, what I do when I check the players, I do his offline, online, and so on and so on, many parameters. So I tell you the parameters. I noticed him long ago already. He is, uh, is uh, okay, I, I tell you his uh, last year FIDE performances. Uh, his rating is, I will not tell precise numbers, but close, just that I don't want that people check, yeah? But uh, it's very close to reality, the numbers. So his um, his rating was, uh, he doesn't play that much. He's not very young, 25, something like that. Uh, his rating was, at the beginning of the year, 2501, I think. Uh, and uh, he played 20 games classical chess. He's uh, he lost like 30 yellow points. Then Blitz, uh, he played 31 game in in this last I think half year actually even closer. Uh, so he plays kind of from time to time. He lost eight yellow points. So basically, what do we conclude out of it? He's he's actively playing. So he is 24, 50, 2500 player. Yeah. I mean, that is kind of conclusion. There are many games, it's altogether 50, more than 50. Same, games. same bleach rating. Yeah. Huh? Say, same or similar bleach rating. I mean, you... yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. bleeds, he lost 8.2450. His bleach okay, rating. Okay. I mean, so he played 30, more than 30 games. He His performance was probably lower than 2450 since he. There is okay. absolutely yeah. no reason to believe he is. Top player. I mean, zero reason. Yes. So uh, his uh, chesscom rating is very stable around three thousand. Very stable, like plus minus. The best was always quite significantly over three thousand, uh, which is already kind of a bit. Yeah. I mean, okay, can happen, but it's a little. Strange. Let's say it can happen uh, if most of his games are like on three zero, let's say, but whenever yeah. you add increment, it's unlikely. But, but when the increment, I tell you his last three, uh, his three in a row titled Tuesdays. So eight and a half, eight and a half and eight. Uh, With performance over like 2700, if we were to come uh, uh, blitz he, rating. Yeah. He didn't win any money. Uh, I will not tell you, but okay. uh, I, 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 he, he won at some point. He won some money. He was winning money. But uh, so eight and a half, uh, I was, you know, uh, one of the measures which is actually quite telling is to take the game when a person scores points. Because if he loses, most probably he is not using computer because you cannot use engine every game. Yeah. So of course nobody on the high level using engine every game. So then you you take away the games where you lose. So practically sure you are not using computer. So you only take the performance in the games, the level of play in the games where you scored points. And that is very interesting. I mean, actually it's quite telling very often. So he's uh, in the scoring points games. Uh, he played uh, that tournament. His performance is 89.4, which is a good 2750 Fine. level. Yeah, FIDE. 27 to 750, I would say. I, I mean, mean, it's my average, more or less. No, no, not always, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, in general. At I mean, the very least. I mean, more or less. I mean, at least for let's sure. Say, uh, let's say at least a 2650 with very solid style. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, at something even, like that, though, yeah. even though more. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, That's so it. he played uh, seven games, uh, more than 90 precision out of eight. Where he's go out of nine, where he was going points, it's it's really a lot, really a lot. Uh, so the second one, the second performance, eight and a half out of eleven, uh, eighty-seven dot eight, I think, was uh, also in eight games. Uh, the uh, next performance was actually eight. Eight. He he beat quite a number of strong grandmasters, including top ten. Uh, one, I think. Then eight, eight out of 11, actually he had eight out of 10 and in the last game uh, he lost, he could easily get the prize. But the last game also it was something similar, but the last game he played 69 accuracy. Okay, of course it's just one game still. He lost, uh, 
Uh, okay, and he it's just three in a row performances. He had many similar performances before. Okay, this is one. I mean, what would you what would you say? I mean, how is it highly suspicious, or or you think it's okay? I mean, under my uh, thoughts, I would say at the very least, uh, I would ask him to. To compete and live with um, yeah. with life presence. Basically. Yeah, yeah, May. yeah. That's what I mean. That uh, you, but uh, you yeah. cannot just leave it, and the guy continues playing. I mean, he's twenty four fifty player. He not. proved yeah. he proved that he's twenty four fifty, and his performances are of kind of good. Yes. No, like player, yeah. again, basically uh, we we're talking philosophically. What? Yeah, what? To yeah. Do. And I mean, I don't say this, this is where I would want to see some additional steps done yes, by yeah. Com, I mean that we already talked about yeah. and that yeah. come obviously before ban, uh, but that I like. Yeah, yes, maybe we, we, ban, need, right? we need some reassurance. But, uh, but something like that, he's continuing all the time, already for a long time. I notice him. He's always somewhere on the top. Yes, quite, no, quite but this is, this is I where mean, I have a disagreement with this is why I have a disagreement with Chesscom. At least I don't think they're um, they were planning on on doing on introducing these extra steps. Uh, but, but like uh, also, mm -hmm. like then it's even more philosophical. I, I think that ideally, so of course for Title Tuesday it's absolutely not realistic. Um, but when it comes to, for instance, tournaments like Champion Chess 2, where there's a lot more money at stake. Uh, clearly, I think it is not a good thing that we can play from home. I think, yeah. of course, it's very convenient. Like, I'm, you know, very happy. I wake up whenever yeah. I want. I, I'm in the comfort of my home. I take my chocolate. I take everything. I'm very happy. Uh, I have my comfortable surroundings. I just need to click and then I play. But I think, yeah, for these tournaments that have something at stake, quite a lot of money, quite a lot of fame, because these tournaments are, are getting a lot of traction and, you know, rapid chess has become more and more important uh, lately over the board as well, but also because of the traction of online play. It's simply, to me, it's pretty clear that, again, Title Tuesday is a different thing, like there's... Le relatively little money at stake mm. uh, so you cannot ask and 500 players you cannot ask 500 players to play from a, from a secure location but for champion chess too like it's um, yeah I don't know uh, like agree with you. maybe playing is under oh, players money. I mean, yeah, yeah it's serious, serious money. money I don't know about playing but let's say at the but very also least playing. Uh, yeah but let's say it's more difficult because it's 100 players uh, but at the very least, uh, playing for players that are already flagged, let's say they should yeah. play with physical yeah. presence. Yeah, yeah, sure. And starting from knockout section, yes, everybody yeah. should play from uh, a yeah. secure location. Yeah. And, I, I or agree. at least, at the very least, with someone who yeah. comes yeah. at yeah. your I fully place. Agree and, you. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I fully agree. So, so but, basically, but, coming. Yeah. Uh, so getting the distinction from pure online tournaments, that is the case now, to hybrid tournaments as they were defined by FIDE, which mm -hmm. is yeah, yeah. how they were allowing some games to be federated, even though they mm -hmm. were played online, because there was this physical yeah. presence. I, I, and... I, I fully agree with you, because it's serious money. But okay, I just continue quickly the list, because this was the most, uh, the most comfortable example, actually, the, the least... The least unlikely. I mean, now it will go get worse with every single example. Uh, okay, so, may, maybe maybe not eleven players, but like you do. do yeah, yeah, I, I do the most more, telling. Yeah. The most yes. telling. Okay, uh, like okay, the second guy. He is also okay. He is. Uh, uh, he is. Um, I can. I will tell you the numbers. He played OT, OTB classical chess. Twenty six games during half year. He was twenty two sixty. He is now twenty two ten. So lost 50 LO points with 2260. Probably his level is no more than 2-2, yeah? 
I mean, yeah, yeah, so his fifth... do we have, do we have no, this, this is classical, blitz. just to yeah. have an idea about class. In Blitz, actually, he's a bit better. He's 23 50. Uh, he lost only 10 LO points in 70 games. He plays a lot of Blitz o o okay. offline. Still, clear he's 23 50 guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, is, he made uh, last, I mean, last two, uh, eight out of 11. With precision uh, in su such games, 89. 2200 guy. Yeah. Yeah. 20, 22, 2200 guy. Another one, he actually made eight and a half out of 10 because he was disconnected in one of the games. So finally, eight and a half out of 11. But in fact, one game, he just was disconnected. Eight and a half out of 10 with the same precision. Second guy was fighting for prizes, was very close to get prizes. 22, okay, 2350 guy. Okay, second. Then uh, another guy, let's say, just to, to give you the most like crazy examples. Uh, one guy, he's uh, 24, 50, more or less, plays very little. He's like 40 plus. Uh, he made, uh, he started seven out of eight in, in a very recent one, beating two very, very top players like Dick and somebody else like Duda. Uh, his, uh, he was never above 24-50 and he almost doesn't play. His uh, performance in winning games are 91.4 in eight, in eight games which he scored points. I mean, Seriously. how likely is it, yeah? Okay, it's all in one tournament. Then a few more, but uh, I come now to the... Actually, to another guy who is uh, played many games, Blitz, he almost doesn't play chess anymore. He, he was 22-30 uh, after 20 games played, 21-50 in Blitz. So he lost all his rating. So I guess his rating is 2100, more or less, yeah, in Blitz, if he lost so much rating. Okay. Let's I mean, 2150. Yeah, let's say 2200 or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah, okay, whatever. he made seven, whatever, out, whatever. 7 out of 10, precision 87.3. I mean, 2150. Okay, that's another. Then, But then the most, yeah, this person I was telling Chesscom as one of many guys. I mean, okay, it's to me, it's completely obvious. And this is already serious because he is a grandmaster. Okay, he's a grandmaster. Kind of not bad grandmaster. He almost doesn't play chess anymore. But I was shouting about it for one year. And I see him still playing, still performing the same. You know. Okay. So he's like 2560 now. I mean, he plays very little. Actually, in Blitz, he, he almost doesn't play classical. In Blitz, he played 22 games in last half year. So he only plays Blitz OTB. He lost uh, like 30 yellow points. So he's now 25-20 in Blitz. So basically, okay. Yeah, he was like 25-50. He's now 25-20. I mean, after 20 more games. So I guess he's not 2700 Blitz player. Yeah, logically. And he was never, he was never above 26. He was never really any. So he's, and he's showing all the time he plays not very often, but some performances which are just absolutely crazy. So, okay, last three events. Uh, 9 out of 11, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 11. Uh, nine, of, 9 out of 11 was very modest. Precision, 89.2. I mean, he beat uh, actually three very prominent uh, players. I think he took the prize. Uh, then seven out of ten, he probably was just not very lucky with pay. He he was eighty nine point four. It's in a row, yeah. So uh, I, now I can tell you then uh, performance of yours and some other guys. It's lower. It's lo Magnus Nakamura. Yours are lower. Yeah, I, no, actually that's important because it's yeah. also part of your analysis that you have of some course. benchmarks. Yeah, yeah, I have benchmarks. I can tell you your la your last three if you want. It's there. Yeah. You I want one. You want to. I mean, I, I want to. I want let, let, let's see the yeah. one Maxim won. Yes. Uh, no, the Maxim. The two. The two. The two. Yeah, uh, want... the two you won, actually, I don't know which one you won. There is 91.4, 91.7, uh, 91.2. There are uh, three events. Okay. Uh, Magnus, he won all three. He has 91.5, 90, and, and 90.5. 
So you understand more or less the measure. I mean, like 90, 91 is winning. Is it is top, winning. absolutely is top, win absolutely It's basically you win, yeah, yeah. I mean, you are just like absolutely yeah. top 10 player, yeah? And the guy has 89.4, 89.2, and the sherry on the pie, a third one in a row, 93.1. I mean, like every game, 93, 92, 94, every game, you know. I mean, okay. And this is like for two years already, continuing like this. He has so many events of 90, 91. I mean, come on, he's 25, 50 player who doesn't play chess anymore. What, what is it? I mean, how can you let him play and play and play? I mean, I'm sorry. I, I must say it, I played with him also. I mean... Okay, I, I, I played three times with him. Uh, okay, the average was above 95 yeah, in, in those games. I mean, I mean, come on, I just noticed it's so obvious. I mean, from the beginning, and the guy's playing, and I see again now lately, just it was pretty late on, again, 93.1. Thank you, excellent, 93. You never showed 93. .1. Carlson never. I checked Carlson whole year, not a single event 93. You the same, not Nakamura. But a few players managed. Even the best one is 94. 94 and the guy is still playing. Uh, there is one player who had six in a row events, I will tell you. 91.8, 92 92.5, 92 92.5, 92.8, 94 92.2. And he's playing six in a row. On the line? I mean, you... On the mm -hmm. right or not, uh, just to because I see I mean, people on the chat are nervous. What are my stats? Because mm. just to, <laughs> to get uh... no, this is no, but I mean, just no, but be, yeah, but yeah, this yeah, is no, completely it's... absurd. I mean, no, uh, no, this is I something mean, obviously, ob ob but obviously, I mean, yeah. like it is absurd, but I think we like uh turning uh, back and forth to, to the same conclusion no, that, no, what... that this player should be under supervision. Yeah, yeah. I believe to prove that he can frankly, play for, for quite a game. Yeah. There are different, uh, let's say, players. Many should be under so This player has to be banned, simply. I mean, there is no way in history of chess it's possible. There is no way. I mean, I can guarantee you the probability is zero, 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 one percent. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't I mean, deserve anything than a ban. No, in a way, long ago, I, I, long ago, I probably, not, not I probably now. agree with you. But let's say if you want to be safe, you just come. You ask this guy to play uh, under you. Should you have should have done one year ago now yeah, already yeah. even not just just ban i mean and there are a few guys more or less of such statistic you just there is nothing to ask anymore yeah. uh, majority will be asked uh, but, but i mean that is what but I, uh, what's the downside of asking this guy to come to chess come because and... i mean yeah yeah it's also possible yeah but i mean that also this guy never showed anything even close on offline never i mean oh, yeah no, but he's not the only one not the only i one. agree with you that it's like Almost a certainty that this cannot be achieved by uh, by uh, fairly, but I mean, if, you know, if it was it, not as never soon achieved as you, by any as, top ten player, I mean, yeah, including but, Magnus. Uh, I mean, sorry, probably but, it is ninety nine dot nine in period. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, but what I mean is, as soon as Chesscom would agree to these intermediate measures and ask players uh, before they can compete for price again to submit themselves to this live supervision uh, with a clean computer and everything. I don't see why they shouldn't do it. And it may even be on the play player's expense to to actually like yeah, come and see. prove that you're playing yeah. fair. And also because let's... Uh, or maybe first let's do uh, what Kevin asked because it's, yeah no I just, just to finish my my idea why I'm giving you these numbers is because and there are many more of course similar so same ridiculous crazy numbers is my question is not you are completely right we should ask Chesscom to do it my question is uh, how come Chesscom didn't do it already because this is continuing for years I mean. I started already a year ago. There, there is a guy in 2021. I, I don't have the answer. So yeah, it's... That, is, that is why, what I mean, that, that is why I'm so harsh. I'm pressing, I'm shouting. Because this is unacceptable. 
if when you see this, there is another person in 2021, he's still playing, earning money. He had uh, 90 plus performances uh, in 16 tournaments out of 21 in a row, 90 plus. I mean, I'm sorry, none of, including Magnus, had, had more than 10. I mean, the guy had 16. And he's playing, he's earning money, earning money. And I mean, why? Okay, you are right. He, they have to be these, 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 these many players. But why? Nothing is it. So you you want me to trust them to say, yeah, yeah, no, we check the guy. It's okay. No, I'm sorry, it's not okay. I know it's not okay. So that is a big question. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. That's why I'm not asking Chesscom. I demand Chesscom. I just demand it, and I go public. If they don't get, it, I go more. I go with names. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. It's not possible. It's very unlikely to put it mildly. Yeah. So okay, and I I have many more statistics which are just laughable. I mean, you just laugh and you understand that it cannot be, but it is. And these people are earning money, and you and others. I when I was playing, I'm facing them. I'm losing to them. I was losing to them all the time. I have a score, by the way, with such players. I checked at some point with my on my suspect league list. I had. Uh, one and a half, 19 and a half uh, with four guys on my suspect list. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. Okay. I, 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 I even, and they're lower rated than me. I mean, in general, I mean, I'm sorry. I should normally score a bit more. Yeah. So it's like everything points in, out on the same direction, but nothing is, is happening. So concerning uh, Kevin, Kevin, I have two news, two news, one good news, one bad for you. Uh, we are we are all waiting for it because we, we will see we will see how, how strong I am. I think now. Uh, you, I, I checked your games. Okay, I didn't go very deep. I I checked like last fifty games or something, and uh, I can tell you I'm yeah. There is zero no indication that you are cheating. It's absolutely correct. If there would be, I would tell. I would tell if there no. is no indication that you are cheating because your play is very consistent and constant. The bad news is that it's consistently bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding, of course. No, but seriously, okay, you are the slayer. I checked. You, you played a few games of good 90 plus, but I checked the games. The positions were not like crazy complicated. I mean, it was like, yeah, I mean, you're... Okay, a good player, 2300, I guess, 24 maybe, yeah, but you can definitely perform. I mean, uh, so there is, uh, uh, I have just wanted to make it a joke, but <laughs> there is a consistency in play. I mean, there is, uh, there is no indication. For example, with Maxim, okay, he has very high performances, very high also accuracy, but uh, it's not much higher than, than his uh, world championship accuracy and results. So then, I mean, Maxim proved more than once he won world championship and uh, he proved that he can play like this. And actually his average Maxim's, I mean, level of play in last six events is uh, very close to what he showed in the last world championship, just like 0 0.2 difference. So there is no like, there is no result like absolutely sick or crazy 98 average you know so i mean and he proved so that's why since you cannot check everyone like crazily so there is no reason to uh okay anyone i can be cheat but there is no no reason here to yeah, yeah, like suspect it, it, anything, it, yeah? it, it doesn't absolve me of any cheating but let's no, no, say course, but it I doesn't mean, make me on on the suspect yeah list. it doesn't make you on the suspect list if you show something crazy a lot you know i mean even though you won events you won many title tuesdays but okay, Seven, first no. of, <laughs> yeah but i mean first of all you you were playing always very strong in in so it's known yeah. that you are strong. and secondly your level of play is basically more or less corresponds to your uh, lego level of play to be so there is no uh there is no reason yeah i mean so it's not that you show fantastic result that you immediately suspect i mean the reason when it becomes to be totally out of a mathematical you know probability you never if you would never show it offline if you would be not playing never playing offline i would i would say okay the guy has to be checked but you proved it so i mean when somebody proves okay then the, immediately it reduces very seriously yeah. the, suspe the suspicion level but okay i can tell you are by the way in last six uh by accuracy you are third 
you are you are the third. By the way, by by the accuracy of play, so you're not even the first. I mean, the first, of course, it's the guy with this 99.9 accuracy. <laughs> but uh, second is actually Firuja. But you are in, uh, I can tell you that Magnus is number eight only. Okay. Uh, Aranyan number nine, Nakamura number 10. And uh, between you and uh, number eight, uh, none of top 10 players. Just to have a general picture, but okay, this is doesn't matter. But what I mean that I'm not going crazy, I'm not just trying to, I'm doing very serious statistical research, OTB, offline, online, and then I see some numbers are crazy, some numbers are even if it looks from the side that it's kind of too much, but in fact not. You know yeah. what, I'm, I'm going to make a start now, Vladimir, I'm going to ask the chat, a poll, to know if the mm -hmm. chat is convinced. Oh, you have not, a start. Not, no, but I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Do you, let's let's do it. Oh, but I mean, what I what I did is only very small part of starts. I mean, this uh, about the last round. It's additional story. I mean, that is really like weird. But many other things are quite weird. But yeah. okay, just a small part. But anyway, I'm not. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, explaining and... myself. Yeah, I'm just explaining uh, that. Okay, it's not my emotion. Not I'm crazy. Uh, it's numbers. Yeah, which are like common sense tells at minimum common sense tells that this is just very weird. And I see yeah, all these again, guys playing. They, playing, they yeah? show they show that it's very weird on a global level, and that yeah, like and that follows you have to do something. The, I the intuition. Yeah, yeah. And we discussed already basically because this mm -hmm. was basically gonna be the last part of the, our discussion. Yeah. But the we were dis we were gonna discuss the solutions to. Mm -hmm to make play, the play more fair. So that includes obviously uh, the idea of having players uh, play with physical presence. And then when it's not enough to have them uh, compete in a secure environment, like just come headquarters would be one for sure, but like you can think of other places. But no, we discussed that. And now we come maybe to the last point uh, what should be, uh, let's say we are certain a player is cheating now, mm -hmm. like, and we gave him the chance, I mean, I mean, chess come, gave him the chance to prove his play and he didn't. He... So let's say now chess come decides to ban him. Mm -hmm. What should happen then? Because as the situation was for a while, uh, chess come would ban a player and then ask them for confirmation and then give him a second chance account. So like this was the situation then clearly. Mm -hmm. But it's still may Maybe it's still not uh, like the information I had was uh, said otherwise, but I, you know, I'm not working at Chesscom, so I don't have mm -hmm. any proof, but let's say, what should so be what, uh, what should be the punishment once you're banned? Because come on, Maxim, how come do you don't know? I'm sure you're playing with a second chance already, no? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, but yeah. I, I know a bit. I know a bit, and I think it's still the same as far as I know. Yeah, yeah, no. Incredibly, my account has stayed the same for the past 10 years. So I mean, maybe I mean, since I subscribed, I just don't remember I think. Uh, well, I, I can check when my account was created, but like, probably 10 yeah, years yeah. ago. No, we, we trust you, we trust you. When my, my no, you, you, do, you don't, no, you don't have to trust me. No, like, no, no, of course. Nobody has, I mean, or, I, almost I, 10 years, my, right? my position but, is very simple. First you, of all, it's not insulting uh, to check somebody who is showing huge performance. It's normal. I, I tell myself, yeah. please, yeah. if I have some overperformance, check me. You have to check everyone. I mean, no, uh, the, it, it's normal. This is yeah. clear. This is I mean, clear. And it also applied, of course, to over the board tournament. Yeah. Like, yeah, I same, would yeah. even say that so higher rated you are, the more careful you have to be, the more uh, when you it comes to checks, uh, yeah. you have to be checked more often. You have yeah, to, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. When you show results, of course, you have to be checked. Course, yeah. I mean, yeah. so there is no like, I mean, to play a victim insult, okay, this is okay. I mean, and like uh, Sasha, and like Sasha Grishuk said, uh, the big, the highest compliment someone can give me is to accuse me of cheating because it means I've played a great tournament. No, you know, I even had this initiative. Okay, I don't know if people will follow it or not, but my initiative, and I told, okay, to Chesscom, I'm ready to do it, please. 
So my initially was every player, if he wants to tell, okay, please publicly pub, analyze me deeply and publish everything, everything you want on me. Yeah. Okay. I please, I want, I want it to be published. I want that everybody sees, I mean, okay, they cannot maybe publish everything, but most of things. So like, okay, uh, you have to do it. I'm earning money there, you know, winning some, well, or some money, please, you should, I want my opponents to be sure that I'm playing fair. I don't want this advantage of people, you know. So I think, okay, I, I told that, okay, if, if any players ready to follow it, I mean, yeah, it would be nice because then it would force Chesscom to be more transparent, yeah, in a way. <laughs> we are not like they're forcing it us to show, but we are forcing them to check. Yeah, yeah. Us, yeah, like out of the top of my head, it could have the downside of like giving indications to unfair players on how to cheat more... Yeah. Uh, for uh, one, yeah, yeah, but that's why I said that it has to be accurately done. You know, at least some things which are which are like which doesn't give indication. But I would like to it to be more public. I yeah. mean, it's and... things which you can allow. Yeah. Uh, so that was, uh, the, yeah, that was what I wanted to say. That yeah, it should be taken normally that you are checked. Yeah, there is no yeah, problem yeah. with it. Uh, yes, and so. Yeah, because we haven't, uh, and I think this is a final point, is once a player is banned, so the situation as it, it was before, as it is maybe not. Uh, anyway, even if the player was simply permanently banned, I, I don't think it would be enough, basically. That's where, that's where I wanted to go. To me, once a player is banned, um, so like, of course, it's in an ideal world because there are legal implications to this. We know that from the Hans Niemann case, uh, swingchess.com. But I would want that uh, the list of players who have been banned to be published. Yeah. Or at the very least, uh, to be given to FIDE. I, I would wish also the same. But uh, I mean, I would say if chesscom is afraid of certain legal issues actually there is a way to do it without any legal consequences at all because as a private company as i understand especially lately they changed their license agreement i mean you can simply annul the membership of a person you give him back money if he ever paid the money and you are, yeah. i mean i you cannot really sue because it's your private entity yeah you, yeah. you just no, you but just you, don't, you, don't continue but you can sue once your name is published on the list which is no, what no, i but was then, suggesting then this is a variation which is very safe which was always existing and now existing and this is safe so if you okay don't publish i i don't care okay i would prefer it but if not not but then yeah. if a person doesn't doesn't agree with it, if he doesn't want to admit, okay, then he's just in this way, he's out forever, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. chess.com, yeah, well, let's say. And this is a very safe situation, even though I agree with you, Maxim, I would, I would go a harsher way, but it's not me who is yeah, yeah. Uh, bearing uh, the consequences, yeah, potentially. But also, second thing, um, because this was like, uh, but the retroactive punishment should also be any potential price the yeah. cheater got should be given back, basically. Of course, yeah, of course, and it's yeah. not the I case. Mean, yeah, yeah. I mean that is that is the most like uh, shocking. But to is me. that again, you would need to be if your chess come to check the legal consequences because of course the player yeah. may. No, I mean, again, you cannot force probably without legal consequences a player to give back the money. But, I mean, it can be a condition and it must be and should have been a condition to get a check and son, uh, to second chance. Okay, we ah, don't yes, back them, then, but for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, yeah. but please, money, if you want to continue playing, you admit it, you cheat it, you earn money, I'm sorry. This is the minimum you, you do, you give money back. I mean, how it's possible that you keep the money which you stole, basically, yeah? I mean, that is totally unacceptable. And that was going on for years. So at least if you are already getting second chance, this is so obvious that, you know, it has to be done. Yes. And probably probably compensated to the players in some way who suffered from the guy, yeah? I mean, probably shared in some way, even if it's small money, but still oh, as a principle. Okay. Yeah. Or oh, let's say given back to 
of the community in terms of uh, next events you, one, you add more yeah, prices yeah so I'd like more, it doesn't matter actually it matters it matters because you know these people because everybody talks you know how how much damage can be to a person who can be falsely uh, banned but how much damage to these people let's say take 26 it's 50 guy true. you know he's playing tournament he has a last round he can earn i don't know one thousand dollars it's a lot of money for him so the guy crashes him with 98 he is not only losing money he's suffering you know it's serious money for so it, it's, it's a lot it's of damage true. yeah I, so i, I see these people has to be compensated in some way so at least a, a part of this money should go to these people. Shed ten dollars, fifty doesn't matter. It's like it's a gesture. Yeah, it's, yeah. A no, gesture. It's, a, it's also true in the sense that, like, I don't want people to be falsely accused. That's for sure. I also don't want people to be falsely banned. But I also want uh, the people who are suffering from the fact that there uh, there was and there still is, to my knowledge. Um, a lot of cheating going on. We don't know. I mean, you know the exact. No, uh, I don't know. Also, the exact, uh, I just uh, yeah. as, as you, but, I believe it's uh, it's quite serious. It's very yeah. serious, but I who yeah. knows exactly. So let's say it's very serious. So of course, the people who choose to play fair are suffering directly from from it. Yeah, and that is and, the worst. That is because yeah, the best yeah. ones, the honest ones, you know, they are suffering. I mean. That is yes. I feel pity for this guy. I mean, they have to be compensated somehow, yeah? If if the guy well, admitted it, it, already. It, and it is a lose-lose situation as it mm. is. And that's why I'm so, um, let's say, determined at the idea that we need these additional steps before banning, yeah. but that they yeah. should be implemented yeah. much more regularly and that they don't consist on uh, show your face and share yeah, your screen course, because... Course. I mean, that's obviously something that prevents maybe the primitive type of cheating, yeah, yeah, but that doesn't prevent uh, a person like me to have something in his shoes or to have a Oh, you were in that, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure, I don't know, but uh, many ways. Yeah, yeah. No, of course, but... no, I fully agree with you, Maxim. I mean, I, I, I agree. I would also prefer not ban immediately, but all this measure, but if they don't want, but, if it's but too what, expensive... what you're saying... Is, but you just cannot leave. You would like prefer this, yeah? you would prefer a ban to the current situation. Yeah, that's what you're yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. but your 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 is is ideal, yeah, solution. But I mean, since I haven't yet um, seen so much will, for, in my opinion, of Chesscom to do much about it, then I I actually have my doubts. They will unless we really start to force many players start to raise a honest and say, okay, we, we, we demand it, you know, we cannot continue like this. But uh, but I, in general, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm not there to start banning everyone immediately. No, but I mean, I just there to tell situation is, is very serious. I don't, I, I absolutely categorically disagree that so many players with low probability, they continue for years to play, earn yeah. money, and, and I don't see anything which is happening. I mean, that that I just cannot accept. Yeah, yeah. Also, one last mm -hmm. thing is because you could say, obviously, that the players have improved since COVID. There's much more material. Course, yeah. There's many more players playing Blitz. So, yeah, of course, sure. they will improve naturally in Blitz. But because you're benchmarking towards the top players yeah. in the world, yeah, Magnus, yeah. and if... Too many players, uh, like I, I don't know how many, you know, many. are surpassing the stats of many. the best players in the world. Yeah, yeah. Then you know it doesn't mean all of them are cheating, but yeah, it means some of them. And of course, no, that's what I mean. Not... That it's important. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody improve, but also Magnus improve, also you improve. Everybody levels it, but then for some reason everybody improved, but they improve three times better, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, faster, actually, and actually over overperform top, top ten players. I mean, yeah, I, constantly. It would, yeah, it would be interesting even to have the stats of the players, top players in Detective like Tuesday, let's say before COVID, like let's say in 2018, 2017. I don't know if you uh, know. Yeah, but many were not playing. Yeah, I tried yeah, to yeah. collect it. I tried to go, but many were not playing. But uh, there is not a major improvement. I mean, I can tell you the stats yeah. of the best players, I mean, of the most sco uh, who score a lot, like especially Nakamura and, and Carlson, are not that incredible in the sense of level of play because 
Why? Because actually they don't need it because people are afraid, I guess, to cheat against them. I mean, I think the face in cheating much less. So they actually, of course, they can play much better, and, but they don't need it. Yeah. I mean, so and some guys, they really like they badly need, <laughs> badly need to play at their best, at least to get some. But I mean, of course, they can play. It doesn't mean that they're like Magnus number eight uh, and Hikaru number 10, I think. It doesn't mean that it's it's a real level, but what is strange that even if you add quite significantly, let's say to them, let's say I'm I'm checking with the OTB uh, precision world championship, and there they really play on full mount. It's still not number one. It's still not the best. I mean, there are still guys who are offline for some reason uh, play better than them. All right, Kevin. Maybe you have the results of this poll. Are people convinced? Yeah, eighty percent of the people are convinced by your arguments. Eighty, but eighty is not enough. Yeah, you need ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was not uh, convincing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> or maybe maybe twenty percent of the chat is not. No, maybe twenty percent of the chat your... is cheating. Yeah. Yeah. So 20% of the chat simply they don't understand English. Yeah, they're French speakers. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. <laughs> I, th I think we have a, a last question, Maxime, if you don't have okay. any more. I have one last Let's thing. Go. An opening question. Do you think the situation over the board is still under control? Which is, I think, very interesting because if people started cheating online, maybe they get a sense of how to that, cheat over the board. Yeah, that is that is actually... Yeah, I mean, I, I spend a little time on this. It's a very important question because why it is so dangerous to leave cheating by the way online as well because once you start you become a hostage of your cheating you know the problem is that once you started to cheat let's say for half year and okay and chesscom was not really paying much attention but you cannot stop anymore let's say you're already like stable 2300 uh, 3100 on chesscom i mean just hypothetically i'm talking But what happens if you stop cheating, you'll come back to your real 2,900, but everybody will understand you were cheating. So basically, once that's why never do it to all people, at end, because you are becoming a hostage of the, you cannot anymore come back. I mean, because it will be more revealing than continue and, and continue even more and 300, 150. And then also if you start playing live events, yeah, you play at, yeah. Uh, so, 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 so. And also you, you might get an idea on the technology you need to yeah. check online also, yeah. and you might think, okay, maybe I can use it uh, over course, the board. Yeah, that's, that's so why... of course, uh -huh. I would say, of course, the situation is definitely not as bad over the board, yeah, but it's a potential. Potential, maybe yeah. already even partly actual, but potential threat. And the problem is that it's inevitably, it will inevitably fleet from online to offline. I mean, matter of time, maybe in five, 10 years, it just depends on technology, but we just, I mean, it's not going only if we leave it like this, ruin online chess, it will slowly but surely ruin offline chess. And that is, you know, that is why it is so dangerous. You just cannot leave it like this. I tell you, and the uh, and last very important point, actually, children who start to play chess, I mean, that is, you know, we we cannot afford to have a generation of children which kind of are very tolerant to this. I mean, we really need from the beginning to, that's why, okay, it's a very sensitive issue, uh, children, but it's also the most kind of, because they're small, they don't understand yet what is good, bad sometimes. Yeah, I mean, the And most, sometimes they, uh, like, let's say if a ch child cheats, It might be because his trainer or his parents yeah, yeah, yeah. encouraged him. It's not, like it's, he, not, it's uh, not it's not because yeah, yeah. It's, you cannot it's, blame. Not, it's not on his own free will yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up to so not you cannot, but you have to be very careful that that you know that's why it has to be so important that there are so many now young talented guys. I mean, we we need a new generation of people who for whom it's not like a norm because last really last no, thing, because yeah. so that's why we need strong measures and yeah, strong we need a very strong uh, stand uh, yeah okay. yeah it's a strong stand that yeah it's not okay to cheat yeah and, and we it, won't let you and do it, it will be punished in some way at least it's funny yeah it's not like it just will be you... punished and also we'll add the measures to to make yeah. sure that you like 
yeah. we won't ban you immediately, but we will yeah, make sure yeah, that yeah. it will not. Uh, it you will, you will not we will find a way. Yeah, yeah. 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 You will not so no later. You will not escape, and it will have consequences. Yes. Because okay, the last episode just because I was recently in Uzbekistan, very nice event, kids event, some festival. I was invited as a as a guest to together with we find. Very nice uh, people and so on. So uh, there was a full Uzbekistani team. We even played some Blitz tournament there. Okay, and the kids fest, very nice festival. So they told me that there was a big children festival and they decided to organize uh, uh, the qualification on internet. I think it was on Liches. And okay, many kids, they took play. They wanted to play main events. Okay, there's some money also, but not too much. And and uh, the organizers told me, okay, they they really they would never do it again. You know how many there were like few places to qualify two three maybe for this live uh, event, and these kids I think under fifteen or even less. So first twenty places were disqualified. First twenty. I mean, this yeah. is then when I heard this, okay, that's what we, we never, I mean, so number 21, 22, 23 qualified, yeah? Finally. So it, it means at least to some extent the algorithm work, at least. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, no, but it's easier when there are small kids. I mean, of when course, they, just, they play 99%, no, I, I, yeah? I, I, I understand. It's much easier and <laughs> the people but watching, it was actually no, on, on, it's matter. On, actually, it yeah. was only chess. Uh, but anyway... But the point it it shows how dangerous is it to leave it like like I mean it is a big temptation and we really need to explain to kids from the very early age it's unacceptable I mean no way not no, to punish them whatever but really no way and we're, and we're because I'm very afraid point. of this and yeah, yeah. when 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 you hear such stories that only you know improve my kind of will and determination to do something yeah. about it because it's not only about us it's oh, about that's... chess in future yeah. That's fair enough. I think All it's right. a, hey it's a very good uh, way to conclude the discussion. Not but very think, funny, and not very yeah, happy. I mean, no, but but, uh, but I mean, food for, 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 for thoughts. No, but I mean, yeah. we we get to the to the point of why you do that because we started. We asked you why do you do it, and I I, I think like it's 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 like a conclusion because if, if nobody does I'm nothing, sure, yeah. you you're yeah, afraid yeah. of the consequences in the in the midterm. Yeah, and I'm already I'm very thankful to to Maxim, to Fabiano, some other players who are kind of okay who start to speak out. Who I mean, because I also need support of players just to explain that I'm not just a guy who is less crazy old. I mean, uh, I mean, salty pensioner, you know. But it's a real problem that we need. We need but, to... but we like your jersey, your pensioner's jersey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I like this pensioner's jersey. <laughs> I actually played for the pensioner's team yeah, recently. Uh, but uh, yeah, but it's very important that, you know, that people unite, players from the space, they unite and they, uh, okay, they, because otherwise uh, the consequences are very, very serious for, for, for chess. And yeah, that's yeah, that much more important. Are... Then I all can of say us, we have, the game of we have continuous discussions with Chesscom, at least Fabian and me, we, we had a lot of discussions in, in Toronto. I actually discussed with them uh, the potential idea to mm -hmm. to add this uh, like supervision play. I mean, the, I mean, they're definitely thinking about it, but it's, uh, uh, they're a bit reluctant, I must say. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure why, so, but like, okay, this is the main point of disagreement I have with Chesscom. I completely yeah. understand the fact that they're not banning immediately. I don't understand why they don't have additional measures before that. Yeah, so basically yeah. that's where I stand. I agree, I agree with you. I mean, I was, yeah, I also don't understand and I don't understand how such cases can be like ignored for years i mean all this is like worrying me and uh, what i mean that now it's very important that fabiana and maxim and others they speak to chesscom because i cannot speak i'm muted yeah uh, no oh, you, you can you <laughs> no, can also speak to yeah. chess I, I i'm yeah. talking through public field because i i also as you i tried a lot i lost my hope i i mean hard to understand uh, frankly, why the you know they're not uh, they're trying to to be so uh, secretive on on this and uh, okay I'm doing it publicly and yeah. okay it's uh, it's maybe not the best way I'm I'm I have no other way unfortunately but yeah. if you can manage to influence Chesscom and I also invite other top players who who are under our 
kind of side who and I spoke with some I mean many players they feel something is a bit kind of strange uh, to put it mildly so I invite to speak out and like this together we can maybe solve this issue I really hope so and if it if one day we will manage it or at least to improve it uh, I would feel that my mission in this sense is uh, completed and I would just shut up and uh, and uh, no I'm make... not <laughs> as pessimistic as you I do think we can change things I, I, I why we so. wouldn't we wouldn't be having this talk I wouldn't yeah. have had these discussions I probably would have joined the ranks of cheaters or which I saw together thank like, you thank you very if much I thought it's sense. if I thought it's hopeless like but yeah. Again, I but think I I would just want I, to remind everybody that you won two title Tuesday this month this year, so yes. maybe you you do think <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but you know, it's also, I mean, yeah, that's, uh, you need to have good parents. Also, you need to be really strong, yeah, because uh, like, okay, I'm not strong enough. But anyway, it's not about winning. But also, I think there is a choice. They try not to touch some significant, really, guys who, I mean, uh, it doesn't mean you can win. And in general, uh, I mean, those guys cannot cheat every game and probably they don't cheat so much. And statistics shows, by the way. But in general, it doesn't matter if they cheat against me or you or as a player. Actually, it's even worse if they cheat against 2,650 2, guys for whom this money really, really means. And for us, it's fun. Uh, I mean, yeah. and that would be even worse. Yeah, for me, the main reason I'm playing in this title Tuesday is simply because I like training games. And these yeah, are yeah, very yeah, good yeah. training games. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And... Uh, also, there's a very interesting anomaly about my performances on Title Tuesday is that I have seven first places and zero second place in the <laughs> past year. Yeah, no, but because sometimes I checked, you shared first place, but you're always yeah, yeah. first yeah. when you yeah, share. Yeah. I mean, like, no, it's I really think, crazy. Uh, I think one time I got third. Yeah, yeah, one time first. I got third, but very often and, you was first. And yeah. two times I two won times, and shared. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I won and shared, and five times I won shared, but got first. Yeah, four times, I think. You, four times you were. Ah, no, five oh, times uh, you were. I think. Yeah, but that's maybe just, three times I won and shared. That's actually like, crazy yeah. because I mean, yeah. again, yeah, it's just a terrible luck. It's terribly lucky because. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, not terrible. The percentage on the is, other side, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, extremely, lucky. Yeah, yeah. extremely, extremely lucky that I mean, not because you 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 don't deserve, just because that you are not facing enough. <laughs> such guys that you can still deliver it because even with your level who cares if if you face a couple of guys at tournament uh, i mean you have to yeah. like win all games yeah that's a bit yeah. difficult <laughs> but anyway okay all right okay, let's see how you, the Vladimir. next title tuesday will uh, go yeah yeah thank you vladimir for joining us thank, thank you very much for, for hosting coming. me yeah it was yeah, it was an you. honor to have you and uh i hope like uh, we make things move on and uh i hope so yeah Thank you for your dedication for chess. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And best best of luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Maybe we meet on one title Tuesday. <laughs> no, I'm not really planning uh, to play in anymore. B-Cup, yeah? On B-Cup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not title Tuesday. No, I could be <laughs> You say you have enough, but you, you always come No, back. no, but last it's time your... I just wanted to stream, but okay. I mean, I understood I cannot. But I it's simply your cannot... guilty, guilty sin, yeah? I si no, to... I simply cannot stream and play. I just cannot yeah, concentrate. Yeah, so see. since uh, it's not then just to play, no, I mean, no, not for me. But I wish you uh, get to 10. <laughs> to 10 winning uh, title Tuesdays. Yeah, that's Thanks. very nice objective. Thank you. Thank you. All the best to you. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.